Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. A couple of days ago we got some great news revolving around everyone's favorite rival or most people's favorite rival. Maybe I'm just kind of uh, giving Revolver a little too much credit here. He's one of my favorite rivals. He is a fantastic character, a fantastic guy. Well, maybe that's to be debated as well. But we got some news on a new Boreload monster and the pack R part for the new set Burst of Destiny, which is coming out in a few months in the OCG, and I'm sure will come out in the TCG as well. Now, this cover monster looks to me like a mixture of a Boral monster and maybe a Topologic monster. We don't know anything about this monster other than its design. I will probably do a video covering it once we get more details regarding this monster, but we did get three Revolver cards, including a Revolver Ritual Monster, a Boralode Ritual Monster, a Ritual Spell card that is used to summon the Ritual Monster, and another level 8 Dark Dragon that is going to help out Boralodes, of course. So, before we begin, um, I want to kind of harken back to something that occurred at the end of 2019, uh, when Vrains really should have still been airing, because remember, Vrains ended at the end of September 2019, I believe that the intention was always for Vrains to go those full three years, meaning when Boral End Dragon, the Link 5 monster uh, that we all know and love, got revealed and got announced in December of 2019, I really felt like that was hardcore proof that Vrains ended before it was planned to end. Now, maybe that's not proof, but you cannot tell me that a Link 5 monster of the main rival being revealed so soon after Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains came to an end does not maybe at least indicate slightly that there were plans for Revolver to use a Link 5 monster, which of course would have been Boral End Dragon, at the end of the story, probably in his final duel. Uh, instead, his final duel against Soulburner, we saw Furious Dragon, and I mean, that was a fantastic final duel as well, but it would have been amazing to see a Link 5 animated. I don't think we ever would have gotten this monster animated in Vrains, because obviously it's being revealed now, which is, you know, two years almost after Vrains came to an end, but it would have been really cool to see Revolver use a ritual in the show. A lot of people forget this, myself included, that Playmaker's first uh, unique summoning mechanic outside of Link was actually Ritual. A lot of people forget that, but Cyber's Magician was the first non-Link summoning monster that Playmaker used, I'm 99% sure, and so it would have been really cool if Revolver kind of got a Ritual of his own, but hey, you know what? Better late than never, and we are not talking about Boral and Dragon or even Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains in this video. We are talking about Boralode Riot Dragon. And before we talk about this beautiful blue and green monster with yellow flames emanating from its head, we have to talk about the spell card, which also features Boralode Riot Dragon on it, and that spell card is called Heavy Trigger. So this is the way that you have to summon Boralode Riot Dragon. You have to tribute monsters from your hand and or field whose total levels equal eight or more, and after that you can ritual summon Boralode Riot Dragon from your hand, and if you do, that summoned monster cannot be destroyed by battle with and is unaffected by monster effects activated by monsters special summoned from the extra deck. So that is a really, really awesome uh, effect. I'm pretty sure the spell card Rapid Trigger, which can be used to fusion summon uh, Boralod Furious, I'm pretty sure that gives off similar effects. I'm, I think it gives off protection from monsters from the extra deck, but I, I might be a little wrong about that. But this is a really awesome effect because it gives you full protection from your opponent's extra deck monsters. Not only does it prevent your opponent's extra deck from getting their monster effects off to potentially uh, destroy Boralod Riot, but it also cannot be destroyed in battle by your opponent's extra deck monsters. So the only way your opponent can deal with this card is a trap, a spell, or a monster that is just not from the extra deck. And I think that's a very symbolic and fitting effect for a ritual monster to have because ritual monsters, along with pendulum monsters, are the only summoning mechanics that don't come from the extra deck. So I love how a ritual monster, in this case, Riot Dragon, has the protection from the extra deck. Uh, I think that's very symbolic, I think it's very fitting, and this spell card, before even getting to Riot Dragon's actual effects, giving it this sort of protection, 
is really, really good. So now we have to get to Riot Dragon's actual effects. And of course, we can Ritual Summon this using Heavy Trigger, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. That's pretty typical for your rival's attack and defense stats. Of course, Revolver being the rival in Vrains, those stats are not a surprise to us at all. You can only use this card's names one and two effects once per turn, so they each have a hard OPT. Your first effect is when your opponent would special summon a monster, you can negate the summon, and if you do, destroy the monsters, and then destroy this card or one rocket monster you control. So ideally, you'll have a few rocket monsters on the field alongside Riot Dragon, and if your opponent tries to special summon a monster, maybe a monster not from the extra deck that could deal with Riot Dragon, you can immediately stop that summoning by destroying a rocket monster on your field, and then you can get rid of your opponent's special summoned monster. So pretty solid quick effect there. And then the second effect is also a pretty cool one. If this card is in your grave, you can target one Boral or Rocket monster in your grave, destroy one card you control or in your hand, and if you do, add that target to your hand. So that's a pretty good effect. It's a little bit of a graveyard searcher. It can get a card back from the grave into your hand, and that could end up being a, a pretty good tool for a combo. Uh, I do love when these monsters have effects in the grave, so even after they have fallen in battle, they still have basically like one final wish to give to you and one final effect to grant to you uh, before the duel comes to an end. And so uh, I do like Riot Dragon's graveyard effects here, but the monster is going to be protected from all extra deck nonsense that your opponent might throw at you. Uh, it can quickly destroy any special summoned monster that your opponent is trying to get onto the field. And then it can also search in the grave and get a card back to your hand. I think it's a pretty, pretty good card. And the other one that we have is Dual Wheel Dragon, which maybe this is an unpopular opinion, probably my favorite design out of these two. I love the guns that this dragon is legitimately holding in its hands, and the color scheme is really cool. Also, those uh, like laser shooters on its shoulders protruding from its shoulders. This, this card artwork is, I mean, most of Revolver's cards and monsters are sick in terms of designs. This is one of my favorites in the archetype. Has two effects. Once again, they're both hard ones per turns. You can tribute this card, then target two rocket monsters with different names in your grave, special summon them in defense position, and you probably want to tribute this card because once this card is in your grave, you can banish it and then add a rapid trigger or heavy trigger from your deck or grave to your hand. So you can basically search the ritual card needed to get a uh, riot dragon onto the field, or you can search rapid trigger. I'm not sure if there were easy ways to get rapid trigger to your hand before dual wheel dragon. A uh, rapid trigger, I believe, is the spell that can be used to summon furious. So you got a bit of a searcher here, and to get it into the grave, you are also special summoning two rocket monsters from your graveyard and basically giving yourself some protection. And then you can go ahead and search rapid trigger or heavy trigger. Ideally, you search one of those cards and then you can fuse or uh, tribute if you're ritual summoning the rocket monsters that were put on the field by dual wheel dragons effect and then get your big fusion or big ritual onto the field. So really cool three cards here. We still don't know the cover monster for this set, but based on these three monsters, I have a feeling it could be a Link 6. I have a feeling it's going to be a Revolver Link 6. Of course, we are going to have to wait and see. But as always, guys, my uh, knowledge on the card game is not the best, especially in comparison to most Yu-Gi-Oh! tubers. I've been trying to become a little more well-versed, been watching a little bit of Simo, a uh, great content creator. I mean, I always... I'd heard fantastic things about him, and he's a very entertaining guy. So I'm continuing to watch more TCG content creators to try and get my knowledge a little more up to date to do more kind of in-depth videos on the cards like this. Of course, I'm really only going to be covering cards that do have some sort of relation to the anime because that's just kind of what I love, and I feel like that's my appropriate niche. But if I said anything that you guys disagree with or maybe I left things out, please let me know. But these three cards seem like really good support for Revolver's archetype. Really excited to hear your thoughts. Let me know your predictions on this cover monster, by the way. Really excited to see if you guys think it's going to be a Link 6, if you think it might be another Fusion, a Synchro, an Xyz, whatever you think this is going to be. Really excited to see this monster revealed. Thank you again so much for watching.
A special thank you to my platinum tier patrons Horace May, Goosey Q, Panther J, Blue Maiden 28, Jarrett Bueller, Xlayer64, Brandon Gomez, and Tenjo Kogami's Eisen, and do my diamond tier patrons Jesse Wood, Latrell Smith, and Anime Kaput, and do my Egyptian god tier patron Xyz Lover 104. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who is a YouTube channel member. I appreciate it so, so much. You guys help me out tremendously. I stream on Twitch, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. All those links will be down below. Definitely follow me over there if you feel like that is something you would like to do. No pressure, of course. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your endless support. And I hope you have an amazing day. Wow.